Our fourth competitor is Aidan Bodie, a fourth grade student at T.L. Marsalis Elementary School. How would Dr. King reflect on the 60 years since his I Have a Dream speech? Well, let's talk about Dr. King's dream the way he did and in a way that everybody can understand. Let's talk about money. In his speech, he said, we've come to our nation's capital to cash a check. That check he was talking about is freedom, prosperity, and peace. While many people have a positive amount in the bank for these things, minorities see a negative amount in their bank account. Dr. King said about the Declaration of Independence that black men as well as white men would be guaranteed to unable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is also a form of money that many people get paid a lot. But if you look a certain way, your money is no good. Dr. King dreamed of a day that everybody, no matter your skin color, religion, or gender, could go to the bank of freedom, prosperity, and peace, and have more than enough to live their lives the way that they are promised. People every day are told no because of the way they look. They are punished for crimes they did not commit, told they are not good enough for jobs, not accepted into top colleges, and that they cannot live in nice neighborhoods. When Dr. King was alive, he saw many people living with these problems. Here we are, 55 years after his death, and still many Americans are living with the same problems. Dr. King called this a bad check a check which has come back marked insufficient funds. He did not fight and die for Americans to be socially and morally broke. There's a song that I like that comes from the movie Selma. The song is called Glory by Common and John Legend. One of my favorite parts of the song goes, now the war is not over, victory isn't won, then we'll fight on to the finish. Then when it's all done, we'll cry glory, oh glory. This reminds me that there is still hope. It's time to go back to the bank and make things right. Dr. King said, we refuse to believe that the bank of justice is bankrupt. We refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in the great vault of opportunity of this nation. It's all up to us to say something when someone is treated wrong. Dr. King reminded us that our money was as good as everyone else's when he said, we have a check that will give us upon the demand of riches, freedom, and the security of justice. Today is our payday. If someone says, you're not good enough, say no, it's my payday. If someone calls you bad names, say no, it's my payday. If someone says, you can't have this job, say no, it's my payday. If someone says, you have the wrong skin color, Say no, it's my payday. If someone says, you can't live here, say no, it's my payday. If someone says, you can't go to this top college, say no, it's my payday. How would Dr. King reflect on the 60 years since his I Have a Dream speech? I think that if he was still alive, he would tell us that it is now time to speak up and claim our money from the bank of freedom, prosperity, and peace. Today is our payday. Thank you.